Welcome to our user group meeting today. We're glad that you joined again um, for our online meeting today. We have very um, and a couple of very interesting topics uh, that we will bring to you just today in a second. And we're streaming today live from our Munich office. So let's have a look on our today's agenda. And I will talk to you um, who will be today with me in the meeting and give you a little bit about an introduction who will be um, joining for you today. So um, yeah, you will see me. Um, my name is Hannah. I'm going to be um, moderating in between and be your host for the session today. We will have Andrea joining today. Andrea is um, part of our service team and Andrea will take care of your questions that you have, which you can, for example, place in the chat section. At the bottom of your Zoom screen, you see a Q&A section and please feel free to place your questions there. And um, we will pick a couple of your questions and ask them live to our speakers. On all of the other questions, Andrea will try her best to answer those to you. And then we have Daniele. Daniele today is joining us and will ask your questions live to our speakers here either in Munich or online in our Zoom meeting. And also Mark today is again supporting us. Mark is our technical support and Mark helps us with our um, extremely good setup that we have today. So Mark will be um, responsible for her technical. As you know, um, all recordings, um, all meetings and all sessions will be recorded. So we will have those sessions available for you tomorrow in our online community. So make sure you register there to see them and we will also send the recordings to you via email um, in the next couple of days. All right, what's happening today? Let's have a look on our agenda. We will um, shortly start with our first talk, which is um, presented to you by Rob. Rob will talk about our product roadmap and um, yeah, share some insights to you, what features will be presented and developed in the next couple of months. After Rob, we will have um, Sophia joining and Sophia will give you a demo and an outlook to our current features um, in regards to talent management and what has been developed there in the latest um, month. Last but not least, Mira will join us here on stage and will talk about user education at Personio and how you, for example, can learn some tricks to self-help and how you can guide around in our Personio Help Center. That's it from my side. So we will start shortly with our first session and I'm super glad to um, welcome Rob um, in, a, in a second um, with me on stage. Um, Rob is around nine months um, with Personio now, also based here in our Munich office. But um, actually, he um, yeah, grew up in a very small town in Canada and then recently um, relocated um, now that he's living in Munich. Rob is um, yeah, responsible for our core product HR and within that he um, oversees um, many core product lines. And what he actually loves about his job is that he meets so um, different customers and different customer needs and um, to bring them forward within our product. Yeah, as said, Rob grew up already in Canada, but lived in the several countries, um, such as the North and the South America, but also now in Europe. Um, yeah, today he will present us um, our Personia roadmap for Q2 and beyond. And I'm now happy to hand over to you, Rob, and see what we have, what we have on our roadmap. Welcome. Hello, hello everyone. Uh, nice to be talking with you today. Let me see if I can get this rolling. There we go. Uh, so I have the honor of presenting you with our roadmap for the next uh, couple of months and, and a little glimpse into the future beyond that too today. Uh, let's go ahead and hop into it. Uh, so I'm going to start with just a, a run through of really what our product vision is and, and how we, we sort of look at the, the world of HR and, uh, and our stance on it. So if we start with, with really our core purpose, why, why we get out of bed and come to work every day and, and, uh, and build what we do, it's really to empower you uh, as, as HR heroes. In the last couple of years and, and really even beyond, it's, HR has become a more and more strategic force within, within businesses, whether it be attracting and retaining talent or uh, making sure that your employees are developing, engaged, and productive. There's a, a, an unprecedentedly new, new era of, of HR as a strategic force. And with all of the, the continual kind of mundane or, or uh, administrative activities that you have, there's a, an opportunity here for us to really eliminate some of that, that noise and let you focus on the important things like developing and, and, uh, 
empowering your people. So how do we do that here at Personio? Well, we, are, we approach HR through this people operating system, which is really a way of us looking across the entirety of the employee life cycle and making sure that we have products in place to support you throughout each one of the jobs that, that uh, maps throughout that, that entirety of the employee experience. Here's a great graph that we have that comes right out of one of the analytics projects that my team built. And you can see that our team has grown an immense amount over the last couple of years, more than tripling in size over the, uh, since, since you know, early 2000 here, or 2020, pardon me. The, uh, this is a team that is, is entirely dedicated to making sure that we're driving forward the best possible solutions to support you as, as our customers. And you can also see that we have a, uh, a team that, that is also dedicated to making sure that we learn about all of your different needs or uh, the, the, taking in all of the different feedback that we get, whether from our uh, customer success team or from talking to you directly and, and in events like this or say hug. So uh, just to highlight an example of that, here is a, uh, a really great uh, uh, session that was run alongside our customer advisory board. And you can see that we brought in this group of, of awesome customers from across our, our customer base and got them to, to basically work through a series of workshops around how can we make Personio more smart or more delightful uh, as, a, as a product for them. So let's talk a little bit about our focus areas. This is looking not only into the, the near term, but really beyond that. Our team worked together to really dig into the customer problems that we have and, and figure out what these unifying uh, themes are through them that I'll run through right now. So one of the themes is, uh, is actually tied into a, a, a major event in the, in the last year for us, which is where we launched a new category around people workflow automation, which is really going back to that, that fragmented set of, of workflows that uh, all of us have to do going from our, you know, uh, one tool to another or doing a, uh, administrative tasks in, in various uh, solutions. This is really our way of tying it all together and making it so that those are smooth transitions from place to place. One thing that I think really, uh, just an example that makes this super concrete is thinking of someone waking up, being sick, and then quickly making a, a post on Slack or something that, that will then trigger all of the behind the scenes events that need to happen to make sure that they can take that day off and not have it. Oh. Did I go too fast? There we go. Uh, so the, the next one is that we are a European first company. We, are, we, we don't uh, build for any single area of Europe. We're looking beyond, beyond that and making sure that we support all of the different regulations and use cases that there are across the, uh, the continent. Next, we have that as we've grown, so too have our customer base. And if you think of the, the breadth of solutions that we have to, to build in order to support all of Europe, this is really looking into the depth of solutions that we need in order to satisfy the largest use cases uh, in, that, that our customers have. So let's jump into the roadmap for Q2. Uh, this will be looking at the next uh, three months for us, and then uh, I'm also going to give you a sneak peek into a little bit beyond that too. Here's a couple of highlights. So let's start with this. Uh, this is uh, going back to our, our workflow automation. These are a couple of the new integrations that we recently have, uh, have shipped out. And actually, I wanted to take a moment to give a shout out to the team from, from integrations because they, you may have seen just yesterday, hit 100 integrations, which is a huge milestone both for that team and our entire company. Uh, so this is, this is the series of, of uh, you know, kind of add-ons that you can look at, whether it be learn upon for, for learning management or say jump cloud for for managing user authentication and access we also uh, one of one of my teams has been working very hard on making sure that we have all of the systems in place to uh, to look beyond just the 
the uh, daily tracking of, of hours. If you, as we, we know that certain countries have this requirement around hourly or uh, hourly absences. And now that you can track hours and, you know, set up the, the tracking for them inside of the product and, and uh, the systems for, for managing them, one of the next big steps that we're excited to support is this tenure-based approach where as employees continue to, to earn uh, or continue to t have time in your company. They'll continue to every single year uh, accrue more and more absence time. Moving on to the next one here. Uh, so I think if you were to ask any HR manager nowadays, are you hiring right now? A lot of them would put up their hand and say yes. This is one more of those solutions that we're looking to ship out to make that a smoother experience, making sure that you can transition seamlessly between LinkedIn and inside of Personio when you're, uh, you're passing off a, a, job, uh, a job description into the, the market. Another really great one is the smart interview booking. This is this is when you really think about the back and forth that we have, uh, you know, trying to find the right space in calendars between yourself and a candidate. This is a, a, a feature set that is going to make it easy to just simply send a link over to the candidate. They'll be able to uh, to pick and choose the times that best suit their needs, and then of course uh, select it and get get that interview moving. Really trying to avoid some of that unnecessary administration straight of back and forth. And another one, and, and I'm, I'm going to only do a brief shout out here because Sophia is going to go deep into this topic soon. This is uh, when, when you think about the overhead of tracking down and making sure that all of the, the uh, participants for a training session have, have you know, know when the session is going to happen and are, are responding to the, the invitation. This is a nice, quick and easy way to send off your invite directly from Personio where you're doing your training management to make sure that they have access to the, the invite. Now let's jump into a quick sneak peek for a little bit later into the year. Uh, and uh, we will start that with the efficient task management. So we have tasks already supported in Personio and they're, they're really this fundamental place where you can find in action the variety of different, uh, different asks really that you have for, for you inside of the product. And what we're going to be, be shipping out later in the year is a way for you to organize, sort, and make sure that you are addressing the right, uh, the right task at the right time so that uh, you, you don't lose track of anything and also that you're prioritizing efficiently. Another really awesome feature that is tied directly into our people workflow automation uh, announcement last year is the custom workflow builder. So this is really going to be a feature set that can make it easy for anyone inside of your company to set up and, and action on workflows inside of the organization. Think of uh, making sure that the, the right folks in the org can set up a, an approval request workflow for sick days within their specific uh, international team or something like that. Uh, and moving in on, another one that I will uh, allow Sophia to expand on further is the ability for employees to select from the series of, of, uh, of recordings or, sorry, of trainings that they may have inside of their, their the library and enroll themselves so that they can easily, uh, easily get access to the right content. And there's a lot more that we have going on behind the scenes here. We're constantly looking for ways to improve the speed and performance of Personio, making it nice and swift for you to get access to the data that you're looking for. Uh, we also have a really great uh, set of, of work planned right now to make it easier to manage and set up the permissions within your org. And then finally, one of the ones that I'm most excited for is, uh, is improving the entire user interface and experience of the product. And without further ado, I'd like to open up the floor for some questions. And I can see Daniele is joining me on stage. Hi, Rob. Hello. Thank you very much for your presentation. Thank you. So we do have a couple questions. Uh, the first one is, what are some of the key ways that your team decides what to build? Oof, that's a great question and one that I could probably talk about for a, a long time. 
I think that uh, for our for our team, we really fundamentally try to build that the the empathy and understanding of the types of problems that our customers are having, uh, and then really incorporate that directly into the way that we approach solutioning those problems, and also make sure that there's uh, feedback throughout that process as we're developing the uh, the the solution. Thank you. And uh, what feature on the roadmap that you talked about are you most excited about? Uh, also a great question. I'm, I'm going to first off say that I think all of these features are, are really great and tied directly into a, a lot of customer value and also a lot of work from many of the product teams here. Uh, I'm going to specifically shout out two though. One is uh, the absence uh, improvements we have around hourly absences. I'm super proud of the team uh, that has been building that. And uh, secondly, I'd also really like to give Sophia and her team a great call out who we are about to pass over to to hear about uh, the training modules. So, yes. And what about the second half of the year? Well, the second half of the year, I think that the workflow builder that we have been have been developing is going to be a complete game changer for the way that organizations are running. Uh, really excited for that to not only be out to everyone to to be used, but also to hear your feedback and and learn from uh, what you're what you're benefiting from and how else we can continue to improve it to uh, make your lives easier. Well, thank you so much for uh, for thank joining you. us, Rob. Perfect. Thanks a lot. Thank you.